welcome friends to the techno tuts everything is possible here we are going to discuss the topic projection it is from engineering graphics what is a projection the concept of projection was invented by french scientist monk in the year 1800 the word projection is of latin origin which means to throw forward projection projection is defined as the formation of image thrown forward from the object by joining all the points on the plane by means of straight lines called visual rays to draw the projection of an object we must require the three things observer object and plane on which image of object is to be projected that is plane of projection it is observer he watches the object and throws forward the points of the object to the plane of projection with the help of projectors then the same image that is seen by the observer at the front of the object will be visible on the plane of projection then this projection that is visible on the plane of projection is called as projection of the object and the lines with the help of which the projection is drawn is called as projectors what do you mean by projectors projectors are the lines or rays drawn from the object to the plane of projection then for understanding the projection there are various methods of projection we must go through it then method for projection the first one is pictorial projection it includes axonometric or asymmetric projection oblique projection and perspective projection the other one is orthographic projection one by one we will go through it first the pictorial projection the projection in which the description of the object is completely understood in one view only is known as pictorial projection that is you can understand the whole the whole object by one view only you doesn't need you doesn't require other views of the object understand it okay. the immediate impression of the shape of the object can be known but the true size of the object cannot be determined in pictorial projection second one is the axonometric projection only one view shows all the dimensions of the object that is you doesn't require all the sides dimensions by viewing only one side you will get the all the dimensions of the other sides also the three edges of the object are mutually perpendicular to each other which will remain inclined to the plane of projection isometric projection is a part of axonometric projection then what is isometric projection uh, this, for drawing the isometric projection and drawing shape we we must require a reference line and a vertical line then at the join at the joining of at the where the vertical line and the reference line meets that is at the point uh, Uh, inclined line of 30 degree and is drawn at the right hand side and also at the left hand side then any one plane can be selected as x y or x y plane other is for y z plane and other is for x z plane also the graphic projection also means a right angle and graphics means drawing therefore orthographic means a right angle drawing right angle means at 90 degree projectors are parallel to each other in orthographic projection and the projectors are perpendicular to the plane of projection to draw the orthographic projection we require reference planes that is x plane and y plane on the which the projection has to be made front view of the object and top view of the object so how the front view and top view of the object is obtained let us go through it first angle projection in uh, for the first angle projection and third angle projection can be understood by using the quadrant system that is used in mathematics so here uh, four quadrants is taken first second third fourth the vertical plane shown here is called as vp in short cut and the horizontal the plane which is horizontal is called as hp horizontal plane uh, an observer watches the an object from the front and the projection obtain in the plane of projection of the object by viewing from front is known as front view 
with frame built in mind the here the ob observer is watching the object from the front and the four points of the object is visible on the plane of projection and by obtaining the points in the plane of projection all the points are joined with the help of thick lines then the this projection obtained in the plane of projection is called as front view because the observer is watching the object from the front similarly when the observer watches the object from the top side then the images then the image obtained in the plane of projection is called as top view so from here we can conclude that for first angle projection when the object is in front of the vp and above the edge view the object is said to be in first quadrant and for this condition the front view will be drawn above the x y line and top view will be drawn below the x y line similarly when the object is behind the vp and above the hp the object is said to be in second quadrant and in this case the front view is drawn above at the x y line and top view is drawn also above x y line if the object is behind vp and below the hp then the object is said to be in the third quadrant in this case the front view will be drawn below x y line and the top view will be drawn above x y line similarly if the object is in front of the vp and above the hp sorry it, it is written above it, it will be below if the object is in front of the vp and below the hp then the object is said to be in the fourth quadrant in this case the front view will be drawn from below the x y line and top will be drawn also below the x y line now what is isometric projection uh this for drawing the isometric projection and uh, drawing shape we we must require a reference line and a vertical line then at the join at the joining of at the where the vertical line and the reference line meets that is at the point uh, uh inclined line of 30 degree and is drawn at the right hand side and also at the left hand side then any one plane can be selected as xy xy plane other is for yz plane and other is for fz plane Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Technotrots on YouTube.